Well, there's some new technology out there, promising new technology. It's not going to come out tomorrow, though, because the hype, sound, well, it sounds really good for today, though. But this is a new type of uh, super capacitor, and it was developed by an 18-year-old female. 18 years old, man. Her name is Ursha Kari. That's what's kind of cool about this. She got like $50,000. She's from California, and she got $50,000 for reward uh, for coming up with a fantastic idea. Now, basically, the potential is... Well, what she did was she came up with a super capacitor and, uh, that can function as a battery. So it works on an LED light, and the technology could be applied to cell phones maybe pretty soon. And uh, they'll charge up in about 30 seconds versus several hours. And instead of having a life cycle on your battery, you know, rechargeable batteries are maybe, I don't know, 500 times to 1,000 times to 2,000 times, say 1,000 charge cycles, this would charge... 10,000 charge cycles and charge like in a tiny fraction of the time. Cell phone battery might take 30 seconds versus hours or whatever. And the applications is actually fantastic for a number of devices. But you know, some of these ideas have been around for, not her idea, but you know, the idea about using capacitors in conjunction with electric cars and electric assist motors for trucks, it's been around. You know, I, I do have a sneaking suspicion that there are uh, entrenched conspiracies, you might want to call them. And, you know, it's like you don't want to use that cloak and dagger word conspiracy out there, but uh, it's almost like if somebody's got a good racket going, you know, they got something going, they got a nice model where it's giving them an income stream on, you know, selling oil or whatever, or pharmaceutical medicines or whatever, or batteries, <laughs> you know, could even be that. They're not going to want uh, anybody to upset that, and if they got the power and the money to keep the competition away, they'll do it. Uh, it's a freaking fantastic idea, and uh, you know, 18-year-old girl woman developed this, so uh, I don't know, girl power. That's something smart. She that's very smart, and uh, supposedly these type of batteries, uh, since they're capacitors, they can roll up. They're like super capacitors. So you can have a roll-up cell phone and stuff like that. But, you know, it may be able to be applied to pretty much everything out there that uh, uses energy. Maybe anything there is. That's one of the problems, too, even with the, the electric cars. If, say, you put that, if that technology principles could be applied to that later on. You know, you, you can't just go to a gas station and fill up, you know, like you can with a gasoline car or diesel car. You know, you'd have to plug it in overnight or at least a few hours or whatever, even if you have a special thing. and Or if you're using 110 volt and takes you like, a, you know, 24 hours. You know, maybe these types of, uh, this type of technology she's developed with these super capacitors, it might make the electric vehicle or the electrical assist vehicle, um, you know, much more plausible because that's one of the big drawbacks. How long does it take you to charge this damn thing up, you know? And it would be really cool if you could charge your cell phone in 30 seconds. You know, wow, that would be something else. But it's got a lot of applications. She's only 18 years old, Aisha Kari, so uh, pretty amazing. I don't know. I don't know where she got the brains from. It's amazing. When I see somebody at 18, like, and they think of something like this, I'm like, how the hell did you think of that, man? But she thought of it, so it's cool, you know. Somebody up there, like, you know, put that good karma in her. And she came up with this idea. It's awesome. So. Oh, and by the way, I should add a little point onto this, too. If she lived in Iran and she was like a Muslim woman living under strict laws, of, she would not be able to do this. She would never, we've never had this invention. But she lives in the United States of America. It's actually, she lives in Saratoga, California. So she had the right to pursue her endeavors. So, you know, all these people think the Western ways are so evil. Wrong. And, uh, you know, we're the most tolerant society in, on the face of the earth. The United States, laid back, all the way. And she's from California, so. But if she lived in Iran, she'd probably, you know, she'd probably be slaving over a stove someplace with a cooking pot with a veil on it or something, right? So, who's got the freedoms, huh? You know, don't let them fool you. I just want to add that to a little political comment here in the end. I believe in the USA.